Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my second update for my Finish 5 by Fall Project Pan. If you missed the intro and the first video in this series, I'll go ahead and throw that playlist up in the cards if you would like to catch up. But before we jump into my updates for this round, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these Project Pan videos. And if you haven't and you would like to, I hope you consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So I've made amazing progress and I could not wait for this update. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the foundation. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Now I will say I haven't been using this foundation as much as I have a lot of these other products because I'm already like fairly close to using this foundation up. This is about all that's left in the tube right now. It's actually getting difficult to pump it out. So once I can no longer pump out the foundation, I will be cutting the tube open to scrape out the remaining of the foundation. I am wearing it today and I feel like I'm definitely going to be reaching this foundation for the next couple of weeks just until I can finish it up because there is only just that much left. The next product that I'm actually super excited that is 99% used up is from ColourPop. This is the No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Light. I did repress this in the last video and I showed you a picture of it and now it is majorly, if not all the way used up. I think this is just like res residue on the pan from when I repressed it so I really don't think I can actually use it. So I'm actually going to consider this completed. Completely used up the powder. I'm both surprised and not surprised. It is the first product to get used up. You really didn't get a whole lot of product in this powder. It was an okay powder, but just based on how much product you're actually getting, I can't really recommend it. But that's awesome. That means it's one down, four to go. So the next product that I'm going to do an update on, which is also... It's got so much great progress on it. This is the highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Ooh, look at that! I did hit pan on fire crystal as you can see right here and then this entire top part is used up in lightning dust so I really only have this much around the edges left. I'm really considering repressing the highlighter just to make it a little bit easier to use that way I'm not digging at the edges of it so I think I'm going to repress that side but I'm so close to using it up I really think I can finish this by the middle of October. The next product that I have in this pan, it's a little bit harder to see the progress on, but this is my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I have been using this fairly often, but I've been finding myself reaching more for, um, like more sheer, uh, god, words, Monica, use your words. Finding myself reaching for more sheer eyeshadow primers, like the Milani primer or the Urban Decay primer. Especially because I've been going for more natural looks. I've also been like sick this past week, so I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup. And when I have, it's been fairly light and simple. This is where I'm at currently with the paint pot. Used up a decent amount from the edges, and I do have a nice dip in the middle there. I'm not sure when I'm going to hit pan though, because I feel like I still have a good amount of product left. And the last product that I've also made an awesome amount of progress on is the lip product. This is the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment. And I'm going to twist this up. Yep, that is all that I have left. Right there. Can't twist it up anymore. I'm actually really proud of my progress on this because this was one of the hardest products for me to actually try and use up because I whenever I wear lipstick I'm not good about putting a balm on underneath I'm just not that great at it so I put this on my bedside table and I've been using it every night before I go to sleep and then every morning before I do like my shower skincare routine and everything and I've seen such a great difference just in my lips they're definitely not as dry they look a lot more plump and just comfortable and I actually really like this and I definitely like the idea of keeping a lip treatment on my bedside table. So that is my update for this project. I'm really excited about everything and I really think I have a good shot of finishing everything by the middle of October. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!